Boom, what is up Wanderers? We've got another One Take Bag review today, and I've got a really cool one for you today. You know that I sometimes do reviews of $30 Amazon bags, just to see, you know, do you have to pay up to get something really nice? Well, we've gone even lower. That's right, we have set the bar lower today. I bought a bag that you can get for $12. All right, can a $12 backpack be any good at all? Let's check it out. All right, this is from Ramhorn, which may or may not be a company. Um, and you can see this is kind of a unique uh, blue and black and white and red colorway. Um, we're gonna do a full walkthrough of this bag as we do on this channel, exterior, interior, and then we'll do two things we like about this bag, two things we don't like about this bag, and we'll answer the question, should you buy a $12 backpack? Let's get started. All right, so let's look at the outside of this thing. We've got uh, a really nice uh, shape to this bag. Um, it's purported to be a 26 liter bag. Maybe, okay. Um, and you can see that we've got kind of a fold over design going on, the straps on the side. And now you can see where they got the 26 liter number from, okay? Um, you've got two straps on the back. Um, you have a cushioned back panel. You have a grab handle. You have a water bottle pocket on the side here. And you have another water bottle pocket on the other side here, okay? All right, now. Let's get into the pocket game. And we're gonna start with this top pocket, okay? And we're gonna look down into the cavernous interior here, and you can see why they call this a 26 liter bag. This thing, when fully expanded, is pretty huge, right? Now, can you use this bag as a roll top bag? Let's try it. Not really, if you do, Here's what it unrolls, okay? So it's not a roll top bag, it's only a fold down bag, okay? So you kinda, if you're gonna go with this bag, so you can fold it over this way, or the way I originally had it, right? So it's not a roll top, but it does have a Velcro closure at the top of the bag here, and then it's gonna be tough to see down into this thing, but, it does have a 15 inch laptop pocket that is cushioned and does float about a half an inch off the bottom of the bag, okay? So, the bag is pretty big when you expand it and open it up. On the front here, you have two pockets. You have a little slip pocket. And then in here, you have just another generic pocket, and this one is felt lined. Um, it, it, it has a little bit of cushioning to it, like the barest of cushions. This is just a strap of um, fabric. There is no pocket right here. And on the bottom, you've got just a, kind of a, about a half inch of padding um, on the very bottom of the bag, okay? So that's what's going on with this bag. Two things that I like about this bag. The first is the price. Okay, $12. I thought this thing was going to be like made of paper mache when I got it, but it's not. It's made of like a, uh, I wouldn't quite call it um, like the sailcloth kind of x packish material, but it's, it's nice. It's nylon. It's nice. This front part is like a rubberized material. Um, it's not, they're not high quality zippers. They're not high quality fasteners but it's higher quality than I expected for $12, okay? Another thing that I like about this bag, the laptop sleeve. I, I was not expecting the laptop sleeve to be anything more than just a flappy piece of nylon on the inside of the bag, but it's actually pretty well cushioned. And um, I think you could drop a laptop in there without really worrying that you were gonna do any damage to the laptop in this bag. Two things we don't like, the straps, um, the back straps, they're, they're god awful. Um, they're pretty terrible. They're uncomfortable. Um, 
the padding feels like crepe paper. Um, yeah, they're, they're adjustable and they exist. That's about all I can say nice about um, these straps. The other thing that I don't like about this bag, honestly, um, this is kind of ridiculous. You can, by the way, fold this in and just kind of leave it as a kind of a bucket bag, um, but you can't zip it closed. And so, because you can't close the bag at all, except for pulling this up and Velcroing it and flapping it down, that's the only way to close the bag. That's really, honestly, it's not great. Um, so, let's answer the question. Should you buy a $12 bag? I'm gonna surprise you. Yeah, I, th I think you should. I'm actually keeping this bag. Why am I keeping this bag? I'm gonna use it when I go to the beach. It's actually a really nice alternate alternative to bringing one of my good bags to the beach or bringing a tote bag, which I honestly, I just hate to carry when I'm going to the beach. So this is a cool little backpack that I, I can toss, you know, sunscreen in the bottom of, I can toss, you know, sandy flip flops in. It's, it's like, it, and it's super light. Uh, so I'm actually glad I bought this thing for $12 and I actually am going to bring it to the beach. I'm gonna to toss it into the back of the truck, slip it under a seat, because it's thin as anything when you fold it down, um, and I'm gonna bring it to the beach. It's not insulated, you can't use it as a cooler, um, but you sure as heck can have a cheap old bag that you can beat up, that you can tear up, and not even worry about. And so, you know, I'm usually the opposite of this. I'm usually saying, you know, save up. Don't spend $12 10 times, spend $120 one time and get something nice. But I think there's room for you to have a couple of just crap bags that you can bring when you are going to hike a muddy trail, when you are going to, you know, go get sandy, um, when you know for sure that you're gonna be abusing a bag um, and you don't want to use your absolute best gear. So that being said, don't expect high quality. This is not a super high quality bag, but what is it? It's higher quality than the $12 price point for sure. So I'm going to put the link. There's like five or six colors. They vary a little bit in price, um, but I'm going to put the link to the Amazon uh, page where you can purchase these, but it's, it surprised me. It's worth $12. I'll go out on a limb here. It's worth $18. All right, Wanderers, thanks so much. If you like this video, please like the video. Subscribe if you're new here. We always are reviewing, you know, bargain bags, cheap bags, unique bags, all the way up to $400 bags. So if it's bags, we got it. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.